So welcome to this week's video. So this is my triathlon journey. I capture, you know, stuff that happens on and off the course. So today, after four years of my son being in prison, he is on his way home from Tallahassee. So I will get to see him so I think it's fair that we appropriately name this week's video to, you guessed it, my son's home. So we'll title it My Triathlon Journey, Ironman Florida, Haines City, title would be My Son's Home. And then throughout the week of this training, we will definitely uh, incorporate him, whether it be on the camera or behind the camera. Uh, I'm gonna put into work, so to speak. Uh, definitely some, uh, some good times that we can spend together. Cause after seeing somebody as an adult after four years, it's gonna be a little different. Uh, people always grow up, whether it's for the good or the bad. So you definitely gotta keep all that in mind. When they come back home, they always act a little different. So I think I would associate that psychological pattern to someone that's been in prison, you know, three meals a day, being told where to go and how to go and when to go and how long to be gone for. So I feel like that will definitely take some adapting to being out in the real world. So we will base tonight's training on the run we'll talk about that a little bit on how i felt how everything went and at eight minute pace uh had some stomach troubles haven't really ate anything in a couple of days so that's pretty strong to have eight minute pace that tells me that all the gears are grinding and moving right along uh just did three miles a night i didn't want to overdo it and do my uh five mile run i usually do in 45 minutes because that would have uh, definitely been a, a challenge but i was happy to get the uh three miles in short and sweet so let's go home and see this boy and see if he's home yet all the way from Tallahassee to Lake just some, just some fun facts on uh, all right so I just got home and guess who's home <laughs> don't scare the viewers that's my son Bryant so I'm gonna welcome him to the channel like I said before he's gonna be doing some behind the scenes with the camera and on the camera so <laughs> just want to introduce you to him hope I didn't scare y'all Uh, we're at the Grady Pool. I'm gonna do a 45 minute swim, and that's pretty much it. Oh, bonus, we're gonna do the bike today. We're gonna do a little bike ride. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but we will see.
I can't even hold my right arm up because I, uh, I wiped out pretty good. I'll show you. <sighs> yeah, look at that bad boy right there. Oh, it hurts. And then I got my leg right there. Oh. So, I had an 18 mile an hour pace, so I was pretty happy with that. So I took out a new bike and I was trying it out and the seat wasn't tight. So note to self, make sure the seat's tight. And then we had to cut the post for my wife so it could go down low enough. So I thought I would take it out for a test ride since she hadn't been riding it. And brand new bike, 2021, and I put the seat up high enough where I could ride it and the seat post was about a millimeter too high out of the base of the bike. So guess what? The first turn I took, the seat went whoop, and I went with the seat. Thank God I was only going about five miles an hour, but it was enough to uh, do some damage. So I went and got my bike, which is right here. And this is my uh, triathlon bike. See the aero bars? This is the one I do all my races with. So I got on it, 18 mile an hour pace, down on the air bars the whole way. So basically, when you're on uh, any bike and you wipe out, you don't go home. You get back on the bike and you keep moving. That's the name of the game. I could have went home, felt sorry for myself, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna get on the bike and I'm gonna keep moving, and I'm gonna do a video to talk about it. That's just what I do. So let's go inside, get bandaged up, and tomorrow's gym night. Let's see how that goes. But you know what, you gotta push through. You gotta keep on while you can keep on. All right, so we're out here in Agrico, which is like uh, west of Bradley, I'm pretty sure. So we're doing, <laughs> It's probably gonna be 50 miles, but I would say at least 40 at the minimum. We've been riding for an hour and we got in 18.35. So got a pretty strong pace, doing about a 20 pace. So pretty excited about that. Uh, everything out here is beautiful as usual. This is one of my favorite spots. I mean, just look at that background. Look at that scene. You got the railroad tracks over there, pine trees. You got the sun fixing the set in the background. You got these phosphate pits on your left. So it's just, it's just beautiful. And every once in a while you can catch a 15 foot alligator hanging out there on the side. All I see now is some, uh, looks like some birds in the water out there. But that's it. I mean, look at this. This is breathtaking. I just, I don't know. I love getting outdoors. Um, I had the itch. I just, I couldn't wait to get on my bike. I worked 12 hours a day and I just was all day between customers just thinking about, man, I would love to get on my bike. I can't wait to hit the great outdoors. So this is Florida. This is what it's all about. Getting on the bike, pushing as hard as you can. Uh, 22 days out uh, for race day. Uh, it's gonna be Haines City, Florida, 70.3, uh, April 18th. We're gonna get to the swim start at about seven o'clock and as far as I know they're doing uh, seated which is by your age and then they'll do a rolling start from the videos I watch with all the social distancing uh, it looks like it's gonna be six feet apart and there's gonna be four shoots so they'll let four athletes go at one time and then another four and another four just to keep it safe until we get this uh, pandemic behind us so Let's get this ride on. Got some super great footage coming. Stay tuned.
All right, so the ride went fantastic. Uh, I love when I have a fantastic ride. It just makes the training that much better. It's like I was saying before, 22 days, tomorrow's 21, so just counting it down, trying to keep the race nerves, you know, calm, because you can get to thinking about it and get worked up, and you don't want to get worked up for no reason. So if anything, the last 20 days or so, I really train kind of hard right up to where I start tapering off. But even then when I taper off, those sessions I still go at them as hard as I can because I'm like getting excited. I'm not really thinking about the training, I'm just thinking about the race. So the race is on my mind and then training's on my mind but kind of in the back of my mind so to speak. So it's a pretty windy ride. All in all, 45 miles, two hours and 44 minutes, about a 17 mile hour pace. I'll take that because it was a lot of hill work today. So we're gonna go to Texas Cattle Company where they age the steaks for six weeks. Even though I don't eat red meat, I'm gonna probably get down on some chicken. So here we go. All right, we're at Texas Cattle Company. So Texas Cattle Company. So now we're gonna see. It's probably about uh, 90 degrees. Humidity probably makes it about 95. And uh, bonus, we can go over the bridge now. Uh, Sean, what was it, like six months? It took the city to finish like a one day project. You and I could have pulled off. Yeah, I'm gonna say six months. I would say uh, I'm exaggerating, you know, just a, what a smidge maybe. Yeah, maybe, but uh, you know, that's the city. Two people working and uh, 10 people standing around watch them. So, I wanna stop off and uh, let you see how good looking the bridge looks. So next time you come out here, you and Ab, y'all can uh, walk across successfully without being uh, rebellious. Cause the last thing we need is a rebellious pastor, right? Right, so let's go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so I made it. Uh, 8.1, uh, nine minute pace, average. So thankful for that, because the, the heat actually increased a little bit. It's probably 100 with the humidity. Uh, about an hour and, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So now we're gonna go inside and uh, recoup for a few minutes, because I am just, drained but i'm glad i'm training in the heat of the day because when iron man Haines city gets here on the 18th and i'll be about 30 minutes in the water and i'll be about three hours on the bike or less so that's three and a half right there so that'll put me at eight nine ten ten thirty i'll be on the run so you figure 11 30 12 30 It'll be right when it's starting to warm up. So the goal is to be done, you know, noon, one o'clock around there. So let's go get it. All right, so this wraps up this week's video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. So it was basically training and my son came home after four years. So don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget my Instagram account, which is ironman.keith. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, have fun, and remember, there's more training to come.
Kane City is only 20 days away. Peace.